Hello, yeah, right. I'm just going to go through some of uh, your answers to the last two quizzes. There's a bit of orange sticker feedback for the end of the year. So we've got two quizzes here. It looks like people spent a decent amount of time on them. And I'm going to go through kind of the, the most popular answers um, and just kind of fix some things that people might have got the wrong end of the stick on. So the death toll of the Haiti earthquake. Okay, the figure that I gave you in the lessons was 330,000. Now, if you Google it, that comes up with some reports of older reports. Um, so I think some people would try to cheat a little bit there by Googling rather than using the lesson resources. But that is the correct answer. Um, what percentage of buildings collapse? Again, I think we've got a bit of Googling here. It is 80% in port au prince uh, Most people did okay on this one, okay. Um, so it was a conservative plate margin where we would find um, hitting. Okay. Um, this one is continental, okay. It's the continental plate that moves upwards during a tsunami. So it's the continental plate that gets pulled backwards um, when the oceanic plate gets subducted underneath. So the edge of it gets pulled backwards. When an earthquake happens, that flicks upwards and pushes the water above it that creates a tsunami. Um, the cost of damage, so pretty straightforward. You either knew it or you didn't, um, was um, $300 billion. If you put something in yen, there was nothing in yen on my lesson resources, so you must have Googled it. Okay, again, rather than go back to the lesson resources. Um, a few spelling errors with this one, but the Philippines is the right answer. Okay. Um, what type of plant margin it is destructive? That's where you get composite volcanoes. Okay, so well done to you, those of you that put that. Okay, um, volcanic winter, global cooling, climate change. I'm happy with all of those answers. Anything that kind of says that the ash caused the temperatures to drop. Okay, so it is called a volcanic winter, it is called global cooling, and it is a form of climate change. So any of those answers, I'm happy with things. Ash cloud, storm, no, I'm not happy with those. They're not right. You need to, to go back and have a look at that. Okay, so the death toll. Okay, again, you either knew it or you didn't. So it's 847. Okay, Lahar is the answer. If you put Lahar, is fine, I'm happy with that. And um, there is some spelling errors there, but generally, it looks like a lot of people got that one right. Yeah, so that's the first quiz. So the second quiz, only a few of you have done this um, at the point of me recording this video. Um, but hopefully, once we go back to it, you've got the, uh, the correct answers. And if you're, you are learning from what I'm going through. So again, another one where we've got some spelling problems here and things, but it's 27 degrees. This one, that's obviously been Googled. I, we don't work in Fahrenheit, we work in degrees. So it's 27 degrees um, or above is what we're looking for. OK, so these things, that's right as well, as far as I'm concerned. It may not be marked right, but that, that is correct. Um, Coriolis effect is the name of the uh, Earth's rotation that causes hurricanes to to spin, so again, check spelling and things like that. Um, which town was worst hit by Hurricane Katrina because of its low sea level? Okay, so that was New Orleans. And we got somebody, unfortunately, there, a little typo, meant it came up was wrong, but I'm happy with that. Uh, how many people were made homeless? Okay, so that was one million. A lot of people got things incorrectly there. I assume a lot of these things are Google. The right answer will be what was on my lesson resources. Okay, so you need to make sure you're using the lesson to answer the quiz. Yeah, so what hazard is formed when warm moist air rises and meets dry cold there? So we've got a tornado there. Most people got that one right. Death toll of the beast from the east is seven. Name of the storm. Okay, was Storm Emma. I don't know why so many people have wrote this. I don't know whether you Googled it or whether you were cheating with yourselves, but it's Storm Emma um, that was taught in the lesson for that. Okay, so generally speaking, we, we've done okay with that. I think a few people have tried to uh, cut corners with it and try to Google answers rather than using the lesson stuff that is there. But it looks like most people are on the right lines, which is really good. Now, this will be my last video of the uh, school year. Hopefully, next time you hear my voice, it'll be in person. But thank you so much for your hard work. I know it's been really, really difficult since lockdown in March. Should we just keep it off for the last couple of weeks? Enjoy your summer break, and we'll see you afresh when you're in year nine with your option subjects um, next year. Okay, so enjoy your summer.